Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to actually check out uh, the software AG Web Methods API Gateway capability to do um, context-based routing. So recently we came across a situation where we had to uh, develop an API. Our, uh, we had to reach out to two different native services and this is where we thought we'll try out the context-based routing capability of the web methods uh, API gateway. So what exactly is the context-based routing? It's, uh, it's a means uh, or a policy on the gateway that allows you to reach out um, to different native services based on certain rules or certain uh, information that comes in the request. So uh, we have the uh, API gateway and uh, naturally there are requests uh, landing on the uh, proxy service. Uh, for example, let's say you have a request landing on the gateway and it ends with a resource called uh, cat. And based on this resource, we route the request to a native service hosted on uh, maybe a certain port or a hosted on a certain domain. And let's call that the cat API. Now, let's say uh, you have uh, another resource that you introduced uh, called uh, a dog. And this in turn uh, would be routed to a dog API. So you would ask, uh, well, what's so special about this? You could create separate APIs to do this. But uh, yes, you could do that. And what we are actually going to show is using the same API, but using some information on the request, which is in this case, uh, the resource parameter, uh, sorry, the resource uh, path to indicate where you want to route it. So let's have a look at how this is done. All right, uh, so first we actually uh, navigate to the login page of the gateway. So if you have not checked out uh, my uh, previous videos, you can have a look at them on how to actually build APIs and how we have built these APIs on the gateway. So, uh, so we uh, so we look at the context routing API that I've already built over here uh, because it's going to take a couple of um, minutes longer to actually build it. So first of all, we'll see what is our uh, workspace. So this is the API and uh, this is the gateway URL. I have added in two resources to it called cat and dog. Uh, so behind the scenes, it actually sends the request to first, this is a cat fact API. It returns uh, random facts of a cat. Uh, this is a dog API. This also returns uh, random images of dogs. So we're going to route the request to these two APIs. And uh, let's quickly have a look at the gateway API. So the gateway API uh, is, uh, is having the name context routing API and followed by the uh, version number. We'll switch over to Postman and have a look at the uh, API. So as you can see over here, this is the gateway uh, which is running on my Docker and it's running on triple five six. This is the name of the API and uh, I have a resource called cat. So now when I invoke the resource cat, it actually returns random facts of a cat. And uh, as you can see, it keeps changing because it, it sends the request to the cat API. I've also opened it up over here, so you can see uh, this is the cat information. Now let's change the resource name to dog and give it a try. We'll see it's returning images of various images of uh, dogs. So these are two resources right now that are there. What I'm actually going to now do uh, is try and make a call to this API. This API actually returns the current price of uh, a Bitcoin pair. Uh, we'll try to put it on the uh, gateway. 
So to start off, let's say we want to call the resource name as Bitcoin. Okay. Now, if you were to access it, obviously such a resource is not defined and it would fail. So let's jump in onto the API. If you have followed my previous videos, you'll understand how to actually create an API and uh, add in resources over here. So let's assume that this has already been done and we'll uh, jump into editing the API. Now, as you navigate to the policies, you can see on the routing, I've actually added a context based routing policy. Uh, usually we would just be having a straight through routing um, you know, policy, but uh, for now I've taken a context based routing. Uh, and here are the options that are there. So I'm just going to open this in full screen. Uh, it will be easier to understand. So there is a rule uh, which is called route to it's a default rule. I always uh, would recommend to put in some some URL over here that uh, is not valid. Uh, so that's why I put something called doesn't matter dot com. Um, for for the sake of understanding the API better, it's good to just leave this. It, it's like a default uh, block in a case statement. So I, I just leave it as uh, empty. And since it's mandatory, you have to put in something. So I put something invalid over here. So let's uh, minimize that. Then comes the rules. So in the rules, I have defined a cat rule and a dog rule. So in the cat rule, I have said that uh, it is based on certain predefined context variables. And for the predefined context variable, I've used operation name, stating that if the operation name is equal to cat, that means uh, whatever comes in the uh, in the request, then route the request to a cat fact uh, API. All right. Uh, it will be more clear when we look at uh, defining a new rule. I've done the same thing for a dog. Put in if the dog operation name is equal to dog, then route it to the dog endpoint. Uh, so let's go ahead and try and create a uh, new rule, right? So add rule. Let's call this. Uh, Bitcoin rule and we say add a condition saying that uh, we are doing this based on a predefined uh, context variable. You have quite a lot of options uh, and I would I would uh, urge you to explore each one of them. Uh, now I'm just going to use the operation name and say that if it contains uh, or if it's equal to Bitcoin then route the request to our Bitcoin endpoint, uh, actually the Bitcoin pricing endpoint, right? Uh, that's about it. Let's give this a try. I've never tried this before. So fingers crossed, hope this works. Uh, yeah, there's one more thing that's missing. Uh, so as you know, we haven't added our resource, but let's see what happens. So. Obviously, when I hit in Bitcoin, uh, nothing is going to work and it actually says that the resource is not found. Good. So let's switch over. Let's come in on to the resources. Go into the resources and add a new resource saying Bitcoin. Okay. Bitcoin. And we put the resource path as Bitcoin. It's a get method. Let's add it and say save. All right. So now we have three resources, Bitcoin, cat and dog. And uh, as you can see, uh, we are routing it to three different endpoints. One is to the cat endpoint. One is to the dogs endpoint and one is to the Bitcoin pricing endpoint. All right, so back to our postman. Let's give it a try. Okay, it didn't actually find it. What's wrong? It says Bitcoin not found. Let's go and check. So it's actually still saying that it's not defined properly. Let's go and check our resource once more. Yes, it is Bitcoin. Do I have some space before it?
looks about fine. So it clearly says the resource Bitcoin is not found. Yet it can find a cat. I haven't had any typos over here. Okay, so now it actually found a match. I think there was a typo in it. So anyway, it's found a match. Uh, let's go and revisit the rule. See, as you can see over here, it's now taken the default path where it didn't find any match and it sent it to the doesn't matter URL, which is what I was trying to say. So it now has been registered on the gateway. It's found the resource and it's routed to a wrong endpoint. So let's have a look at the policy once more. Maybe there is something wrong on what has been defined over there. Open it in full screen. So we have the Bitcoin rule. We have the condition that says, yeah, so that's it. So you have a typo over here. All right, let's fix that. Okay, all right, okay, okay, and save. Back to Postman. Let's try it now. Yep, now it's actually been sent to the right endpoint. And as you can see, it is returning the live price. So uh, probably it was the typo that propagated to the resource name while I was copying it back. So now if you hit the cat resource, it goes to a cat API and returns the information. Hit the dog resource, goes to the dog at point. And if you hit the Bitcoin resource, it goes to the Bitcoin at point. And uh, you can see those details if you switch over to the analytics. I've done a video on the logging and analytics. Uh, you can have a look at that on how to actually enable it. Right now it's enabled on the API. So we can just quickly see what's going on. So the last couple of requests are successful. Let's just go and quickly add the operation name. Yeah, I'll just add the operation name to the table and I just add the native URL so it becomes easier to see it. So yeah, as you can see, uh, when the request landed on cat, it's routed to the cat endpoint. The request landed on dog. Uh, yeah. So, so I, I guess you understand the point. You can actually um, use this approach to uh, put together an API with uh, your native resources that are coherent like for example it was an animals api you could have your dog and cat together but of course bitcoin is not an excellent candidate to go on a you know uh, on on the same api so it's it's good to keep uh, such coherent apis together and uh, if these are in fact different uh, native resources then i would recommend to you know probably create two uh, different apis on the gateway uh, versus you know creating one api to route it to you know everything possible so i hope this video has been helpful uh, to you uh, there are other uh, you know routing policies which can also be explored i would urge you to have a look at them i will try and do some other videos on some of the other uh, resources as well sorry some of the other policies as well um, so please uh, put in your comments and let me know uh, what other kind of videos you'd like to have a look at thank you very much